Hey, hi, my name is Sako. And if you're an upcoming artist, you should check out Go Produce. Yes, yes. Welcome, Sacco. Smartest. We've got Emmanuel Saccocini. He is from France, but he's been living in California since 2011. He has co-founded two creative digital studios, one in France and one in Japan and the U.S. He's also co-created and co-produced many interactive ad campaigns with awards, including Emmy Awards with Arcade Fire with their album Reflector for Google Creative Labs. He's received over 10 Canis Lions. I apologize apologize if I pronounce that wrong. He's received over 20 FWAs, nine Webby Awards, and of course, the lift goes on. In 2020, most recently, he co-founded Fuzz. This is a mobile app to help young musicians like myself, like yourself, to discover and match with like-minded peers to start a band. Smartest, this is Emmanuel Saccocini, aka Sacco. Hi, everyone. (laughs) <laughs> welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for being here, Sako. It is a pleasure. Let's uh, let's go ahead and make the most of this and jump right into it by starting with our first segment called The Basics. The Basics. <laughs> okay, so The Basics. Thank you once Ooh, again. Sexy. It's a little... So- sounds like foreplay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, we, we try and have a little bit of fun here, try and introduce some new transitions. Um, um, we're, we're having a toll in the back of house to decide if we actually really like all of them. Um, but the making of the transitions was so much fun. So we had to share them with the people for now. Um, but the point of the basics itself is to ultimately understand you as an individual better. So I think my favorite question to start off with that is, why did you choose music over anything else? Oh, I think music chose me. Um, and I might, that might be the case for a lot of us. Um, you know, I think I, I, I fell into pop and rock and roll uh, at a very young age, um, probably around, that would be third grade in the US, third or fourth grade. Um, but, you know, someday you you see your, your first, so LP at the time, you know, we're talking about the, the 80s, uh, and, and, and everything appeals to you as a, as a child, you know, you, you're impressed by everything, the visual, the attitude, the, 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 the dangerousness. Uh, and then you, you listen to the sound and it's, it's the sound of rock and roll. And, and, and you're like, okay, I, I found my, my soulmate, like my, my whole life is going to be different from, from that moment. What was one of the first lessons that you've learned that stuck with you throughout your whole time? For music, music and marketing, um it's such a big world um i think credibility is very important uh, i think everyone who works in there is trained at on one hand to achieve you know the the hard cold business objective like selling more and etc but on the other end it's 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 a culture um so you got to be very careful about uh you know how you how you manipulate that in, in, in marketing creation. Um, and, and cause you can market things in a toxic negative way. Yes. Uh, cause you, with ill intention, maybe because you, it's, you, you, you can very quickly come across very cynical. Um, and, uh, because there is all, there will always be this contradiction between the, a creative culture um, has to be very, you know, respected and protected. But at the same time, it's also a product. Um, so there is there is always this trade off between treating this, um, you know, as a product and talking to fans as clients, uh, which we we, we see uh, sometimes in, in some initiative. Um, or I think taking the right angle is, is really understanding the, the culture of the fans, the culture of the artists and, 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 and finding some clever ideas to yeah. add something to what the artist is already bringing without trying to, you know, pollute or overlap. It's, it's delicate. Got you. Um, Got you. you know, Interesting. And okay. So you, with, with your 20 years of experience in advertising and your 
sincere interest towards music throughout your whole entire life. I'm curious, what would you change about the music industry specifically? But I'm even more curious because of your perspective, having like lived so closely alongside it, but not necessarily been in it. Yeah, you know? exactly. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's a tough, big question. Um, okay. I have, I think I have one quote, uh, which is from, from Frank Zappa, um, which is kind of a wide ranging answer enough, but I, I saw recently a, a very old interview of Zappa and, and that was, I guess, probably in the late seventies or eight, early eighties or whatever. And he was saying that for, for him as his experience as an artist in the old days, the executives at uh, record companies uh, were completely disconnected with youth culture and didn't understand, um, you know, the, the 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 different currents and the different trends of of, of movement in youth culture. So they were just blindly um, putting money into things they did not understand, um, and and some of them would blossom into into interesting. Uh, you know, artistic and creative experience. And basically he was speaking for himself as Frank Zappa. He was saying the the, the people who who, who um, gave me the possibility of becoming a professional artist have no had no understanding in what I was doing, had no understanding in, in what all the, um, the the youth culture movements were going on. They were old and corporate people, um, but they would still put money and see see what sticks and he was saying but then a, a newer generation came from business schools and trained executive corporate people um, who claimed to understand uh, the, the the fans and the audience um, and he was basically complaining about that so I, I would still interesting I'm, I, of course I'm, I'm from a very indie kind of standpoint uh even maybe maybe punk to some extent but um i'm still in the idea like if you're you know if if you're in the business and you're you're running things don't you know don't don't suppose you have to love like or understand uh the um, the currents in 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 in, in pop culture um maybe you should keep doing as as they were doing 50 years ago just put money don't try to understand you, you don't you don't belong there <laughs> oh no so that's, that's that's a little depressing that's a bit of the answer <laughs> it's not yeah. me it's, yeah it's fair it's frank zappa um yeah, yeah. No, no no that's totally cool we, we need all the different kinds of perspectives and we can make our own decisions from that so no thank you for sharing that uh that's truly magnificent and with that we'll be going into the speed round coming at you in a moment <laughs> by all coming means take at you. all the time in the world oh oh coming at you now the it's the speed round. Speed. It's the speed round. Round. yeah that was a terrible you're not wrong grumpy sound guy terrible now that take. you take all that time in the world i'm gonna relax not play my sound just do my thing <laughs> have some coffee what do you and think? This Emmanuel? is why you don't get paid. Yeah, and, and Lou, I don't know <laughs> if you right if that. you want me to to add something to to what I said because I, I guess it was maybe a bit negative. But one thing, no, 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 go ahead. One thing that I would probably uh, encourage in the music industry is is see if some artists can also transition into uh, you know management and and professional position. In the end, you don't see in that industry. You don't see that much if you look at the sports industry, you know, like most of the the guys who are huh. executives and chairmen in federations or whatever run clubs and business, they were they were have exactly. athletes before. Uh, but you don't get that much of seeing, you know, f former artists becoming CEO or VPs of, of record companies. And I think that's a bit weird. That's so peculiar. I never even considered that frame of thought. So yeah, thank <laughs> thank you for that extra jewel. Uh, awesome. Just for the record, uh, I, Sako, there's nothing wrong with being negative. 
You can be on Team Grumpy all you want. <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's awesome. Awesome. All right. So, Sako, the speed round. I have 20 different questions here for Whoa. you. They're very okay. short questions. Okay. And you have three seconds to answer. Okay. Wow. Um, okay. After, you can justify. <clears throat> all right. Oh, if the three seconds passes, you're going to hear that buzzer. All Thank right. you, Grumpy. Uh, you, yes. You know what? Oh, go, go, go. All right. Awesome. What is your favorite activity to do? Play guitar. What are your favorite genres of rock music? Post punk. Post punk. I almost caught you. I almost caught it. <laughs> For What's your way, favorite meal? It's the same. Yeah, it's the same one. What's your favorite meal? Hey, uh, pasta. I'm, I'm, nice. I'm happy Dead or Italian. alive? Italian pasta. That. Who would you like to have dinner with? Dead or alive? Uh, Robert Smith. Cool. What kind of guitar do you have? Uh, Fender Jazzmaster. Is water wet? I'm sorry? Is water wet? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Make the first sound that comes to your mind. Uh. <laughs> How many times have you attended the Reading Festival? Ooh, I think about 10 times. Yeah, if movie is to watch, then Netflix is too. Uh, is, uh, <laughs> How, uh, do you have any <laughs> nicknames other than Sako? Uh, Emmanuel. I guess, yeah. Um, <laughs> how many musicians are currently in the fuzz community? Um, about 14,000. Ooh, is this the best interview you've ever had? Oh, yes, for sure. <laughs> Adventure or leisure, which do you prefer? Adventure. And what is the fuzz slogan or tagline? Find musicians. Find musicians. Who is an artist that you currently find the most exciting? Mm. Yesterday I was listening to Illuminati Otis. Ooh, Illuminati Otis. Um, um, um. The next round is on me. What are you having? Uh, <laughs> oh, um, uh, Martini. Nice. How much does it cost to join the Fuzz community? 0, 0.0 dollar. Hey, who's your all around favorite person in the world? Who? These days, uh, my, <laughs> oh, my daughter, my daughter. Yes, beautiful. What is is wow? What is your favorite city? Ah, uh, uh, San Francisco. Nice. And can you imagine a world without music? Nah. That's yeah. Nah. Erks. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> no, not none of that. Yes. Sanko, <laughs> we made it through the speed round. Nice and easy. Um, I I, I do wanna. Nice. <laughs> I do want to comment you, the reading festival. I read that you yeah. attended this 10 years in a row. Um, yeah. And not to be like, oh, that's so weird. You went 10 years in a row. It's almost like they were able to bring an experience to you that convinced you to go back for 10 years in a row. Yeah. What was it yeah. about that experience that drew you back? Well, I, I love live performance for, for a start. You know, it's 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 probably one 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 of my most enjoyable thing to do is to go and see bands. Um, I like young bands, or, or I like to see bands at, at early stages of their career. It's it's fascinating because for some of them, when they become big, you you get all that perspective of of having kind of followed you know follow them from 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 an early start, and that's that's very satisfying. Um, but yeah, I think the, the energy of the live performance uh, in, in, in genres of, of pop music, so you know, hip hop, rock, and, and well, the, the wide range of pop music um, is amazing. The Reading Festival is, is always a showcase of uh, established act, but a lot of upcoming act. Um, in the space of, uh, let's say, in, indie rock, uh, indie pop as well. Um, and, 
and it's also the festival experience. You know, it's a few days that you take out of your life. I guess it's like if people go to Burning Man or if people go to a retreat, um, it's it's very psychedelic. You you're gonna you're gonna maybe not wash yourself for three days. You're gonna maybe drink a lot for three days. You're gonna maybe disconnect. You know, from from the the, the normal life. You're gonna be a little bit in an alternative world the music is is going to be your companion it gives you all the the energy all the lift you need that's uh, awesome yeah, okay yeah. cool we are we're moving very nicely the next segment we've got is called what's yo take Okay, what's yo take? <laughs> you were jamming. Nice. Hey, you were jamming too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so what's your take? We are back open to open discussion. So there's no like three second rule. And essentially, we're looking for your wisdom. The episode that uh, I, or the theme that I'd like to focus a little bit around is um, the old music industry had its, its, its benefits to it, but also its harms to it. So let's combine the old music industry with today's technology. This is a phrasing I kind of stole from you. Um, so with that, we can almost start with fuzz again. Um, you said that the high school clients, 15-ish, you know, they're playing in their guitar, or in their room, in their garage. That's almost your ideal client. But uh, what is their experience going to be like from the beginning with fuzz? Um, so... Well, of course, we I, we 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 like to 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 go towards this young audience. That doesn't make it of any in any way, uh, you know, exclusive or or everyone is very welcome. Um, I think what I mean also by that, outside of the the, the age thing, which sounds uh, you know like like not very inclusive, is we we, we don't um, present fuzz as as a path to your professional career. Um, the, the the aspect of of becoming a professional musician is is quite secondary. Um, what we're trying to build is a is a community uh, for people who play an instrument, um, regardless of they want to make it their career or they want to you know make it their hobby. It it, it doesn't matter much to us. Um, so in a way, that's that that's why I'm talking about about this kind of age thing. Um, right. But that's that's really the, the the thing. So the experience is um, it's, it's you see other people. So a lot of the way Fuzz uh, currently operates is based on on dating apps, kind of. You know, it's it's almost the same type of of experience. Um, you're gonna see other people's profile you're going to hear the tracks they post on the app uh, you're going to see some of their visuals their description what instrument they play what style they like um, what goals they have which i think is is important um uh, you know you can you can say i joined first because I'm, I'm i'm looking to tour which implies you're a professional or semi-professional musician you're looking for for tour opportunity um, but you can also say, um, when you when you build your profile, I'm um, I'm joining first because uh, I'm just looking to jam on the weekends. Um, so this that's what we call the goals. Um, so you 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 set your instrument, you set your goals, um, post a track or two. You post links to what you already have online, your Instagram, your SoundCloud, um, your YouTube, whatever. Um, and that's pretty quick. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, we want that idea of being simple and getting quickly in front of the community. Actually, you don't need to create a profile to see other people. You just come in, you see other people right away. Yeah. You need a profile when you want to connect with someone. If, if you think someone you know, looks cool, um, you, you just make a connection request. And, and then you, for that, you need, you need it your own profile, obviously. Um, and the How other person- How long would it take to make a quick profile? Uh, quick super two, fast. Two it, process. It, uh, barely. Um, you know, we, we, we try to keep it real fast. 
um, you have five screens or something. So I think two minutes is is yeah. is, is enough. Yeah, it was so fast. And uh, there are things we we saw are not needed and are also showing our culture. Uh, we don't ask you for your age. We might do it at some point, but more for protecting. You know, we don't want people too young on that app, so we we might right. do this. But um, we don't ask you for your gender. Um, you know, you just come in, you put your pictures, and and you can put you know whatever picture of yourself you want. You put yourself how you see yourself. Yeah. Um, so you know that's 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 what we're that's very unique trying to build as a culture um yeah yeah um but that's then, very interesting you know if you if I've... you like what you see so it could be an illustration could be uh you know a real person um in the end we're just connecting to play music um so anything goes yeah, yeah, that's quite interesting. I, like a follow-up question that I was going to ask is, so why Fuzz as opposed to other kinds of similar communities that are being um, developed that do something similar? But it's it's those points that you really made. And one of the really big features that I thought was interesting was that you don't need to have a profile to, to look at other people's profiles like you just yeah. mentioned. Um, that, when I actually first installed the app, I was like, Oh, you know, so I thought that was quite neat. And, and, and you need those, those, those features that separate you from the rest of the competition. Mm -hmm. so, so yeah, good yeah, job with yeah. that. And then, and you know, there's, there's, there's a new feature we're working on um, and, and we're super excited about um, what we feel is, is a bit lacking now is opportunities to uh, interact more with the others. Um, right now, once you 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 match with someone, you can of course you can chat, you can send files, you know, you can send your garage band tracks and and and, and start things like that. Um, but we we want a way for 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 people to kind of discover their their music and 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 exchange on music, but not necessarily with talking about that. So we're we're working on. Uh, a kind of a simplified multi-track system, super simple, where you can record a little clip. Um, let's say you record yourself uh, uh, for a little clip and then someone can record another clip and sync it with you. Um, so it's kind of bringing, you know, the, the, the four track kind of experience, but in a form. Right. And, right. Uh, and we really hope this, this will make a big difference um, so then people can very simply without being a complex production tool but just um, you know oh, put put a little track out and I'm gonna add my track over yours and uh, and it's it's fun we can do it in a few in a few minutes very simply yeah see what happens um, <laughs> uh, and, and I like that idea we can apply it to audition um, we can apply it to learning some leaks you know learning some some piece of music um, or just just getting wow. some ideas real quick and and that gives you a way to get a better feel of who's the other user you know how how they play and what what instrument they have what the setup uh, without making it a big fuss or without making it a complex production tool because there's a plenty of stuff like that out there did you mean to say big fuzz because like is that big why it's called fuzz <laughs> <laughs> a big fuss. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, I just had to add that. No, no, no. Good catch. Good catch. Yeah. But, um, yeah no, it's it's this, a brilliant. This, yeah, there's an app called Collab. I don't know if you you've seen that. It's it's. I have seen it's it. Actually, seen it, yes. Uh, um, uh, guys at Facebook. It's a it's a yeah. lab in Facebook who build that, and we I really like it. Um, but Collab is all about this. It's only a feature. And us, we have the community. So I think right. if we can bring in, you know, a simplified, fun experience like that, mm -hmm. it will, it will be the perfect match. You know, we'll have like an, a little engine um, to keep the community uh, engaged. That's awesome. Okay, something more about Fuzz since since mm. it helps create opportunities for people to meet um, other people, and you're coming from a marketing background. We're hoping to uncover some areas where 
artists will fall through the cracks where they struggle with marketing, for example, like mm. if for, for, for those that are more interested in a career, not just the hobbyists, mm. um, where do you see them falling through making those kinds of mistakes? Whoa. Um, I don't know how, how qualified I am <laughs> uh, <laughs> on, on, on that, to be, to be honest, probably the, the whole digital world is, is giving you this fantasy that there is a shortcut to professional where the real world still um, make you grow as an artist. And, so a good example I here of, I think everything that you've done with marketing and networking that we've got here that I want to ask you about is mm. uh, the, the halfway home project that you've done in Solana mm. Beach. This is actually artists themselves on the ground mm. level going mm. out, performing yeah. in their community, promoting each other and they're marketing themselves. So how about we talk a little bit more about that? Um, how yeah. can artists replicate that in their own communities? You know, at some point, you, you want to stay a musician. You know, it, it will stretch you uh, to, uh, are you going to be selling to your fans, um, you know, some, some videos of your cooking lessons or some all sorts of crazy digital content? Because we also see that when it becomes, um, when you become, a brand um, and and that's probably like everything there is there is pros and cons and probably the the danger of that direct fan uh, monetization is that you, you may stretch yourself into becoming a brand and losing the the focus on on the art um, but it comes down to individual choices I think um, how do you I, that, I think that's it's a very interesting, interesting point. development yeah I will, I have got one more question for the segments before we go into the final segment of the show. And sure. just curious, what is, what makes an amazing performance? And oh. I'm trying to like pick this apart so that other artists, when they get up on stage, they're like, oh, I should try, try that. What, is there mm -hmm. anything that stood out to you that you saw? So I think a good life performance mm -hmm. is, is, is a performance where you're exhausted regardless of your style, you know, even, even if you're, um, you know, I mentioned Nick Cave earlier and, and, and now he tools is just sitting alone on a piano. So there's no, you know, there's no big action happening, but nevertheless, he he's exhausted at the end, emotionally drained, um, you know, because uh, when an, a musician comes on stage, I think they, they have to give, everything and and a lot of very intimate things and and they really have to you know give um all their bare soul um so yeah. I, I would say a good performance is when when you've left without your soul like your, your soul has been ripped off and it, it's been given to the audience the stage. yeah uh and and you're completely dead um, yeah, you, you've probably made a good performance or the best you could. You know. <laughs> That's a great way to put it. A, a and, beautiful and you analogy see, too. You see this, you know what I mean? You've seen Absolutely. whether in real life or, or, or on videos and, or in films, you know what I'm talking about. We see yeah, it. It's, yeah. it's visual. You see that the, the good artists at the end of the show, they, they, they can't do more that, you know, they, they're literally emotionally dead yeah uh, yeah and that means that means they gave they gave all they had they gave all that had and it's beautiful it's beautiful it's something that you yeah. just feel awesome yeah you feel okay it. Yeah, yeah um i like that i like that uh let's jump into our final segment our final segment is called clear the air i don't want to skip that one this is a fun one clear the air stop recording cut Cut. Okay, so Clear the Air is a special segment for us. We've got a couple of fans that send in questions. So our first Ooh. fan is Kevin Chu, and his question will show up on your screen. And then our second question will come from the grumpy sound guy. So here we All go, right. Kevin, thank you, is first. Hi, Emmanuel, my name is Kevin. May I ask, can you share some success stories from any artists who have used your app? Mm. Um, well, it, 
modest success stories <laughs> because um, you know the, the, we had uh, the other days we we had a uh, a guy uh, who was um, looking looking to put together a band um, and for for moderation purpose uh, we 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 sometimes we monitor conversations uh, especially the most active ones to to make sure. Uh, you know, people are here for for the good reasons, um, right. and uh, yeah, and and within you know within a few hours, he found like three bandmates, um, and they're all into you know like kind of garage garage punk kind of kind of stuff, and and I was so happy because that's that's really all we ask for. That's really exactly what what fuzz is about. Um, that's a success in itself, and, yeah. and and you could you could see the guys you know talking about liking the same band and and and, and sending over songs and and starting to plan you know which cover they would they would start working on yeah. um and i was all that was all very you know very cool very heartwarming um and very much yeah that's that that's that makes us happy that's all we need to be happy just basically a, just... A, ba- a band was born in in maybe four or five hours on, on the app and that's what's so cool four or five hours these people maybe they were in the same community maybe they were in different communities and they're doing it all virtually but now they're friends and and they wouldn't have had this was it not mm-hmm. for fuss so that's that in itself is a big is a big success story to myself that is, uh, that yes. is for us that's the point that's awesome big shout out to kevin chu thank you so much for your thank question you, kevin. thank you thank yeah. you yeah, thank you, Sako, for answering that. Now, Grumpy, do you have a question for us? Yes, Sako. Throw me your favorite guitar player and why they're your favorite. <laughs> uh, I favorite guitar player these days because you know things change. Uh, that would be Johnny Marr, um, Johnny Marr from the Smith. Um, because he uh, blends rhythm and and melodic uh, guitar playing uh, in in one guitar. It's it's almost like you would need two people to play what he does. But he he developed that very unique technique of um, uh, mixing melodic lines and and chord changes all at once, what? and and is not an distorted guitarist and that's funny because all of all of my life I, I, i've been in in very uh, heavy sound i love shoegaze i love sound effects um i love big heavy wall of sounds and feedback and stuff um and in the past three months I, I, i'm i'm trying to learn the johnny Mar stuff and there's not a single distortion it's all entirely clean sound with chorus uh it's very difficult to play and it very satisfying um, because you you feel you're a little band uh, just with one single instrument. Uh, it's it's really a cool guitarist, and he's, he's a great also person. Mod- also, he's also in Modest Mouse, eh? And he did really yeah nice yeah yeah Modest, Modest Mouse, Mouse well. absolutely yeah yeah you're right yeah yeah absolutely the Smith and then Modest Mouse. Yeah. Great choice. Thank you. <laughs> Grumpy sound guy approves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Approved. <laughs> You I need, need to, I right need to choice, check him out. So I have to approve because, like, otherwise you'll get the buzzer. <laughs> oh, that's awesome! Alrighty, Grumpy, do you have any final words that you'd like to share? Um, I need to check out your app. Sounds amazing, and Thank you. and yeah, I hope you'd all monitor my conversations because I can be a little bit grumpy, and maybe <laughs> I I can get kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Thank you, thank you for thank you for asking that, Grumpy. Sako, any final words from you? Uh, well, a big word of thank you. Um, you know that that was my first uh, interview of, of, of this kind, uh, and uh, and that was a lot of fun. So thank you very much for having me. Um, I really appreciate. It. And uh, I'm glad you guys you are great. It. You're you're doing you're doing very good very good work. So big, thank big congrats you. Congrats to you. Thank you. Is there anywhere our listeners can find you or your resources? 
Um, yeah, so we're on we're on the App Store. Um, we're only uh, iPhone at this point, so we're, we're on the iOS at Apple App Store. Uh, the app is called Fuzz, Find Musicians. Uh, we have a website, uh, joinfuzz.com. Um, and we're, we're still a very early startup. We're all bootstrapped. We're four of us. We're doing this uh, in our spare hours. Well, a bit more than that, but uh, we, we still have other jobs. Um, right. And we're, we're looking for investors and, and angel funders you know, to, 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 build, to build the app further. Okay, awesome. I will include all of that in the show notes. Uh, we will make sure to share that with our community. And on that note, I just wanted to say thank you so much, Sako, for being here. That is it for this episode. Smartists, if you want to connect with us or other like-minded individuals, you also want to... Oh, <laughs> if you want to connect with us or other like-minded individuals, you want to check out our Facebook group. It's free. Go to goproduce.ca forward slash groups. And uh, I will see you there. My name is Big Lou. We out.